We are shown that magic has been happening on stage when the film starts, a magician was doing it, his name was Eisenheim. The people sitting there feel there is a soul made with smoke, they get anxious then the chief arrives there, he arrests the magician, accusing him of cheating on behalf of the empire, he attempted to fall the empire, the people there support the magician, yet it was useless, so the chief takes him with him. Now the scene changes, and we see a prince, an inspector comes to him and tells him about Eisenheim, the magician, he tells him that he belongs to a poor family, and one day, when seeing an illusionist in town who showed all kinds of magic tricks, he got excited too, thus Eisenheim decided to learn how to do magic also and started doing it himself. One day Eisenheim saw the princess and showed her his magic, the princess, whose name was Sophie, liked magic and they started spending time together, Eisenheim made a locket for her, and they often met in secret. Because this point was weird for the people that a poor boy copes with a princess, many problems were created, the guards of the castle blackmail Eisenheim, that if he again comes to the princess, they will kill him, Eisenheim was a wise boy with a good heart who loved his family, so he traveled from there at a great distance and studied magic for many years in another country. One day he came back after becoming a great magician, he had been gone for 15 years, immediately, he rearranged his show, and everyone was impressed by it. The inspector was also there, who is now telling the story to Prince, now the story comes to the present, and we see Eisenheim taking the beginning of the magic program he calls, the one on stage, who has no fear of dying, however, none is available in front of him, because everyone loved their life. Instantly, the crown royal prince stands up there, everyone becomes happy, that he has taken the risk on his life how brave he is, yet the royal prince means sending out Princess Sophie on the stage, to aim her, when he claims Sophie before all she needs to go to the stage, seeing her, Eisenheim recognizes that she is Sophie with whom he played in his youth. The princess couldn't recognize the Eisenheim at first, but when he does the trick from their past, Sophie realizes that she may have met him before, the prince allows Eisenheim to do more tricks to prove himself over an extended period. When the prince and Sophie left the room, Eisenheim said something that reminded her of who he was, but then she had to go with the prince, afterward, Eisenheim met secretly with princess, he told her, I am the boy, and she responded, I knew, I am happy. She likewise tells him I am most likely to be the princess of here, but I don't like the royal crown prince, they talk with each other for a lengthy, however, someone is spying on them. The inspector additionally familiarizes the news of their meeting, after it, he claims to Eisenheim to stay away from the princess. Eisenheim's show was being shown for the second time, he made a painting of the prince's dad in just a few seconds, then, the prince demanded one more trick, Eisenheim stood his sword on its side and said, only someone who deserves it can pick it, everyone came to try to pick it, but they all failed, the princes tried too, but he also couldn't get it picked up, then, after that, Eisenheim removed his magic, and the prince tried again, and this time he could pick it up because of that, but then, because of this, the prince became very angry, he told everyone that there should be no more shows like this anymore. One night, Princess Sophie and Eisenheim meet again, Sophie tells him that within a few days, she is engaged to the crown prince, she feels depressed, Eisenheim says he can take her far from here, the princess refuses, saying there would be too much risk for their lives. The prince gets word of their meeting, he calls Sophie and says, I know you met with Eisenheim, Sophie replies, yes, we were friends as children, we were together in youth, and if I talk about your inquiry, you have no right because I don't intend to marry you, on it, the prince slaps her. Sophie runs from there, the prince chases her, he was intoxicated as he reaches near Sophie, he kills her while attacking her with his sword, her remains were on the horse, and some people have seen this scene, however, none can say anything. The next day, Eisenheim discovers the dead body of Sophie at the shore of the stream, he weeps a whole lot because the one he enjoys from his childhood years today, she left, while inspecting Sophie's body, the medical professional finds a gem, he shows this gem to the inspector, and also, the inspector comes to know this gem belongs to the prince. It suggests she was with the royal prince last evening, the royal prince has killed her, Eisenheim also informs him the royal prince has killed Sophie, however, the inspector hides this, to conserve the royal prince, he condemns someone else, Eisenheim considers this point terrible. He leaves his last place and buys a new theater, there he starts showing the magic, like to call the spirits and speak with them, he becomes famous among people, and the prince gets jealous. Once again, he sends individuals to stop his show, 
so they will claim that Eisenheim utilizes a projector and not calling the souls, however, they did not confirm anything, since the image of the projector was a blur, the souls of the Eisenheim look real since they were genuine, after it, the inspector also comes to see it. He could not evaluate that how Eisenheim do this. He arrests Eisenheim and starts interrogating him, outside, there's a group of supporters who speak loudly to the inspector, if you do not release Eisenheim, we will attack this building, inspector claims to Eisenheim if they will certainly do this, it will create a problem. Eisenheim claims to them leave from here, he said to supporters that my magic was a lie and also I produce illusions, claiming this, he also goes from there. Now we see Eisenheim once again begin his magic show, this moment he calls the spirit of Sophie, the audience obtains shocked after seeing the soul of Sophie. They ask her that who killed her. The prince was likewise there in another outfit, to watch on Eisenheim and to see just how he does his magic. Princess Sophie says the person who killed me is present here, hearing it, the prince gets worried and also leaves from there. After the show, the inspector meets Eisenheim and tells him he will not be permitted to do any more performances, the inspector fears that if Eisenheim undoubtedly does a show, he will surely call Sophie again, perhaps Sophie will indeed claim the name of the royal prince, and the royal prince will undoubtedly be caught. Eisenheim says no, I will never stop my program, my following show will undoubtedly be much better than this program, the inspector says if you do this, you will be jailed, Eisenheim says, do whatever you want, stating this, he starts planning for his following show. Now Eisenheim gives the control of his show to his manager, also, he named his performance and also theater to his manager, maybe he has done this, if there will undoubtedly be an issue, the manager will protect him. The show begins at night, the inspector has arrived there with his people, to arrest the Eisenheim. Eisenheim once again calls the soul of Sophie, they begin connecting. Sophie states to Eisenheim, keep in mind the necklace you have provided me, I used to wear it on my neck, yet see after my death, there is no locket in my neck. The inspector right away involves the stage to detain Eisenheim, that might be the secret of the royal prince will be exposed, as most likely to him, Eisenheim ends up being the spirit as well as disappears. The inspector went to the house of Eisenheim, however, he could not find him after that he locates a gem there, it got on the sword of the royal prince, it called on the area where Sophie was killed. Here it additionally confirms to the inspector that the crown prince does it, with it, the inspector likewise familiarizes the royal prince is not honest with anyone. Today he is with him to utilize him and rule the kingdom, also, he wishes to kill his father, the king of below, so the inspector writes a letter to the king as well as tells him everything in it. How the crown royal prince has killed Sophie. As well as he likewise intends to kill you, just to occupy this place. From here, the inspector goes to the prince, he states to him I have familiarized your beguiler nature, therefore, I will certainly inform every person what sort of human you are. The royal prince points a weapon at him, and asks indeed, can you inform, meanwhile, some soldiers come there, the king sent those out, seeing them, the crown prince obtains terrified because he cannot do anything in front of them. Possibly he is feeling guilty that he has killed his fiancée, with it, he additionally intends to kill his father, but now his trick was revealed, he will undoubtedly be dishonored. If he is spared, he will certainly not obtain the kingdom, here he shoots himself, after it, the inspector was terminated from his job. The coat he has worn there was the locket of Sophie, however, when he checks his coat's pocket, he did not discover the locket, when he sees behind, Eisenheim was going someplace promptly, he has changed his outfit. Inspector has started to chase him, while running, they get to the railway station, Eisenheim immediately goes inside the train. Right here, the inspector understands everything, that Eisenheim has taken the locket to give it to Sophie. Right here, we familiarize the entire plot, what happened in the movie, Eisenheim and Princess Sophie wish to live together, they plan to act that Sophie is dead and the royal prince has killed her, Eisenheim offered some drink to the prince, due to it, he will certainly not bear in mind anything, that what is he doing, back then, we are shown he was intoxicated. He went behind Sophie, however, he did not kill Sophie, so then, assuming this is why they all seem like Sophie is dead, because she wasn't breathing. Eisenheim additionally makes her consume something intoxicated, because of it, she was not able to breathe, however, her heart was beating, after it, Eisenheim again makes her drink as well, as she begins breathing, she addresses a much distance, so every person will certainly feel that she is dead, the doctor was also with them. 
The doctor claimed that the royal prince had killed Sophie, his gem is located in her body, everyone felt that the prince is a killer, the royal prince likewise does not remember anything regarding the evening, since he feels he was intoxicated. Right here, the Eisenheim enters the front of the inspector's eyes in the train, inspector begins laughing, just how he became a fool before all, he has nothing. On another side, we see Eisenheim takes off the train in the mountains, Sophie was already there awaiting him. Eisenheim offers him the locket which he secured from the inspector's pocket, so right here, they live happily, so with it, this movie ends here, subscribe to this channel for more videos like this.